So back to 1D for a second. Here's an example. So a 1D, a good approximation of 1D diffusivity is core flow. Right? So we have a core, homogeneous core, and we're going to flow water through it. Right? And on one end, we're going to fix the pressure. Right? So we're going to flow water, we're going to inject water on one end, but we're going to inject it at a constant pressure. So it'll be like a, sort of like a constant bottom hole pressure well. So we're going to inject water on one end, fix the pressure, and on the other end, we're going to fix the pressure. Right? So in this case, you have pressure boundary conditions on each side. And in that case, for this equation, there is an analytic solution, and this is it. So this is one time, one of, not, not one time, but this is one of the very few cases where you can solve the equation analytically. So this is the solution. And it's a, you know, it's, it's, it's got a spatial and a time dependence, okay? So it's a series solution. You can code that up in your computer, and if you take, we can't actually take infinity in that sum, but we can take a bunch of them in the computer, right? We can, we can take 100, or we can take 1,000, and that'll be the exact solution. So just for conception here, if we, so this is x equal to L, we have pressure, and I'm going to plot. Now, so I have a fixed pressure. So this is what we'll call PB1, right? So this is the, the pressure on the left-hand boundary at x equal to 0. And on this side, at h equal to L, I'm sorry, PB1 is the pressure. And in, th in this specific example, it's 1,000 PSI, but that doesn't really matter. Right? But can anyone tell me just intuitively what the shape of this curve would be? And in fact, because it's, there's not just one curve, there's a family of curves, right? Because the sh what I've plotted here is only space. Now, there's also a time component, right? So what I'm asking is, at any instant in time, can you tell me what the shape of that curve would be, qualitatively? So how about at like one microsecond? What would the shape of the curve be at one microsecond? You think it would be a straight line? At one microsecond, you think it would be a straight line from there to there? Kind of like this? Okay, so you, you drew it in the air. I'll, I'll, I'm going to trace what you drew in the air. Something like this, maybe? Should be smoother than I drew it. Okay, what about at one second? Maybe something like this? Ten seconds? What about a hundred years? So this is a family of curves with increasing time. So at every instant of time, you'd have a curve. Right? And this makes sense, right? I mean, so initially, at, at time t equals 0, I have 1,000 psi and 0 there. One microsecond later, there's no way the pressure can diffuse and equilibrate the whole thing, right? So in here, I mean, you have 1,000 there because it's fixed. And so you have this sort of nonlinear curve that goes to 0. Now, it always has to be 1,000 there and 0 there. But at long time, and this, what's another word for long time? Or another phrase? No, no, just like in, 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 the terms of, in the terms of solving dynamic PDEs, right? Yeah, another word. Steady, steady state. Yeah, steady state. So that, yeah, maybe I didn't ask that well enough. But yeah, so in, in, in steady state, and in, in the steady state sort of implies the time goes to infinity. So is at steady state, then you have an equilibrated pressure distribution. And there's linear across it. What about what about instead of what what if I injected a constant pressure and on this end I close it off so that no flow comes out? Qualitatively, what what would we have? Yeah, so on, but on, I guess, 
all you can really say is on, on this side right here, so you, if you have a constant pressure on one side, on this side right here, you're going to have some other pressure. It's not going to be zero, right? We'll just call it PB2. So you have some other pr some pressure that's non-zero, but there's no flow out of that outlet. So what would the shape of the curve look like in the vicinity of this of this boundary? If there's no flow, no flow implies like no slope, right? So the curve sort of you know I, I can't tell you what the rest of it looked like, but it, at this end there's no slope, and at this end it's PB1, right? So I just sort of have to connect them and you know again you could just use your intuition about what it would look like over time so this may be an early time a later time an even later time but what we always know is that it's going to approach this side with no slope so things like this especially come test time you need to make sure that you have a conceptual understanding of this so I'm never going to ask you to, to Solve the PDE, right? I'm, I'm not even going to ask you really to, you know, on a test, to do anything with the solution of the PDE, like as if you were to you know, say, I'm not going to ask you to memorize this and use it somehow. But, but what I will ask you almost certainly is to have some conceptual idea of what the boundary conditions do. So constant pressure versus constant flow or no flow. Constant flow could also be no flow, right? Zero. Yes, yeah, something like what I wrote. Uh, so something like this one, you know. I, I don't know. We'd have to we'd have to solve it and plot it to 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 know exactly. Uh, oh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're, what what it would be? Sorry. In the long time, actually, it would be this. In the long time, it would be that. So I. I guess I should have, uh, with each time, this, this pressure would be increasing. Yeah. Yeah, eventually, the whole thing would be, be, be bottom hole pressure, right, or the, injection, the fixed pressure on the other side. So yeah, the, the, just uh, for clarity there, let me know. So an early time, middle time, late time. But you, you know, the key thing there is that this pressure would always be there, and this would always be no slope on this side. So back to the constant pressure boundary condition, just real quick. Uh, we do have a slide that has the exact, you know, these are actual plots, right? So these aren't cartoons that I drew. These are, these are actually coding up that series, taking a whole bunch of terms, then with increasing time, plotting this family of curves. 